Ever since he was tabbed as one of the best sophomores in the country by the recruiting services last year, Debo Coleman has been in the high school basketball spotlight in Northeast Florida. The West Nassau Guard is among the handful of players contending for Player of the Year honors in our area. He's ranked as the number 34 junior in the country this year, and colleges have been after him ever since. There's no doubt that his season has been more intense this year, both with the recruiters coming after the junior and the pressure on his team. He stepped up big, especially the last two games, uh, taking some pressure off me with me not having uh, such good games the last two games. And he stepped up big, and uh, my other teammates as well, and knocked down some shots. We saw West Nassau make it to the championship game of the Fortegra 912 Invitational earlier this season. And although the Warriors finished the season at 13 wins and 11 losses, they have a chance to make a splash in the playoffs. Nobody knows that better than West Nassau coach Rand Coleman, who just happens to be Debo's dad. It definitely just perseverance, you know, being able to go through some things, being resilient, because, uh, you know, we're down to like seven or eight guys. And most teams, good teams, they normally play seven or eight guys at this time. So we're right at that. Uh, that's all we have on our bench. Uh, so most of those guys normally get some minutes uh, when it comes to us. But being able to play together, play through some things, being able to play back-to-back -back games, too, because that's some things that was going to happen, you know, during, during tournament play. When they are away from the basketball floor, father and son are still competitive at home. But the non-basketball conversations usually take place over the pool table. I'm the better pool player, but uh, it's been going back and forth lately. Yeah. But the conversation, they get pretty intense sometimes. You know, I try to uh, cherish all the moments that I can have with him now because I know in a couple years, you know, he'll be away. Um, you know, he's this older, older kid now, so he doesn't like all the, the mushy and the dad being all up on him away from the basketball court and all that stuff. But, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Coleman has been offered more than a dozen scholarships so far, and remember, he's still only a junior. A lot of teams that, you know, he's probably dreamed about, you know, being as growing up, you know, like, oh, I would like to play for this school, I'd love to play for that school. You know, for hearing them, uh, seeing them reach out to him is definitely big for him, but he understands right now it's not being a fan now. But, you know, everything is business. Stay focused, like, finishing your high school season, like, it's probably going to be one of the biggest decisions that you make, so don't take it for granted. Coleman says he wants to make his decision around the start of next season. It's a decision that he'll make with plenty of...